Herbst Farm. Don't, this is not to be confused with the Herbst of Herbst Woods on the first day's battlefield. Uh, this farm sits here just along Route 15 and 30 at the intersection. In fact, the Gettysburg Walmart is just over here in this direction. Um, and here on this farm, which sat along the York Pike, there were Confederate action and movement of troops uh, from John B. Gordon's uh, Georgia Brigade and also from William Extra Billy Smith's Virginia Brigade. These two brigades uh, passed by this farm here uh, on July 1st uh, and 2nd of 1863 as they moved toward the York Pike uh, on the extreme Confederate left. Uh, they would advance from this farm here in this direction toward the York Pike um, to the Peter Trossel farm. And on that farm, which we did a video on already, they would set that farm ablaze on fire and burn it to the ground, being one of three farms to be burnt down during the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, the house itself was built in the year 1820. So it's a, it's a very old brick house. Um, the barn is from 1851. So both structures were here during the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, and like I said, Confederate troops from Gordon and Smith uh, passed right by this farm in this direction, actually up this very farm lane here uh, on July 2nd, 1863. And they moved just across the York Pike to the Peter Trossel Farm. So you'll want to go back and watch our videos uh, on the Peter Trossel farm. This tree here is actually a witness tree to that action. This farm lane here uh, was one of the roads that these troops marched on. They, at one time the road did not uh, bend to the right like it does today and then go out towards Sheila Road by the Walmart. The road actually had went straight um, and of course Route 15, the modern Route 15, when it was built, it pretty much done away with this road being used as a traveling road. Um, this is one of the uh, treasures here of Gettysburg, one of the uh, most least visited houses and farms uh, because of its location. And I've actually uh, been given permission by the owner here named Brian uh, to come onto the property and do this video, friends. Um, the actual address for this uh, house is 3 Sheeler Road, and it is just beyond this house. Um, and you can see the sheets over here, and then you can see the hotel, and just beyond is the Walmart. Just on the other side of these trees in front of us is an open field where the proposed Super Walmart is to be built. And this video is to be uh, watched in conjunction with both the Peter Trossel farm and the James Warner farm because these are all um, troops from those Georgia and Virginia brigades moving uh, southbound here across the York Pike uh, protecting the York Pike and, and making up the Confederate left flank and it is the Confederate left flank that really doesn't get a lot of attention in the annals of the history books. You always hear about the Confederate right flank and, you know, Longstreet and Hood's division, but the Confederate left flank uh, rarely gets mentioned. So we've decided to do series of videos here at the Herps Farm, the site of the Warner Farm, and the Trossel Farm in the last week so we can fill in the blanks of the Battle of Gettysburg. This has been the Henry Herps House and Farm.